How is it already December? Isn't that just crazy? Like, <laughs> where'd the year go? Anyway, look, today I want to talk to you about Lush. So I've been wanting to try Lush for a very, very long time. You know, their bath bombs and their shower gels and jellies, etc, etc. But I didn't want to try them until towards the end of the year, around the Christmas time, because I really wanted to try Yognog, which is a um, body wash that they only bring out in December. And um, so I decided to make an order, a very, very small order, but I decided to make an order of bath bombs and body washes. I have picked up four body washes today which i want to tell you what the smell is i can't tell you like yet what i think about them because obviously i haven't used them i was so excited i just wanted to tell you guys um and i also got a bath bomb for my five-year-old but i am so excited I've, I've already realized that i'm not going to get my uh summer body this year and i'm okay with that because i am going to enjoy christmas i'm going to enjoy the food i'm going to enjoy the company because we can have company now i am just going to enjoy myself because last year was pretty pretty rough um, so I am excited I'm not gonna be worrying about anything this year um, easy come easy go if you want to know what I think about all of this stay tuned G'day guys, welcome to ENR Beauty my name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig and today as I said I want to talk to you about Lush now I have been looking at Lush's website for the longest time and um, Look, we don't have Lush in my hometown. The nearest one is about two and a half to three hours away, and I'm just not prepared to drive all that way with a bunch of screaming kids in the back of the car just to pick up some Lush products. And um, also, like, I don't really see them as being the cheapest. Um, I like they're not super expensive, but yeah, you put um, postage on top of that. Anyway, I just didn't get around to doing it, and I did want to wait until the end of the year, as I said, because that's when Yognog comes out and a couple of other special um, limited edition fragrances that they have. So I picked up four small um, uh, shower gels today to try, smell, let you know what I think of the smell, and a bath bomb. Now the bath bomb I picked up for my son and I wanted to show you it in my hand but he was so excited he wanted to use it. So here's a picture of what the bath bomb actually looks like and I'll put a little video up on here as well. Um, we got the hippopotamus one, I think I paid um, $5.95 for it but I don't know, I can't recall, it'll be up on the screen here anyway. And he absolutely loved this. Now it was quite large, it lasted quite a while, the scent in it was amazing, it stayed on my, my son's skin um, and he does have a sensitivity to some things, he didn't react, um, it turned the water purple which was lovely. Um, my only sort of about it is that um, I've tried some brands that I think are a little bit like don't get me wrong it was great right and I've only tried one so I can only talk about this one product but I've had more payoff with um, cheaper brands not necessarily a cheaper bath bomb but with cheaper brands and um, yeah it was lovely but I think that there could have just been just a little bit more fizz you know um, but yeah so here it is right here if uh, um, you wanted to have a look so anyway let's move on to the scents so the scents of the shower gels that i have today is snow fairy and it says for sparkle like there's snow tomorrow lather up in this candy sweet suds that shimmer with magic that comes but once a year so that is snow fairy i'm not sure if that's a limited edition or not but i saw it a lot of people were bragging about it it's got really really high reviews so i wanted to try that one this one I think is a, a regular one. This is called Happy Hippie and it says a breakfast boost for your body full of grapefruit goodness to awaken your skin and enliven your mind. That is Happy Hippie. Now this one has mixed reviews. Some people love it, some people hate it and I'll explain why soon. This one here is Yognog. This is the reason why I waited all the way until December um, to make a Lush purchase and um, I'm excited to smell this and see what all the hype is about. Yeah, this is another one apparently that they either love or you hate. So I just wanted to get the little bottles just to make sure that I wasn't going to waste anything if I didn't like it. I mean, I'm sure the kids would like it if I didn't, but I'm just being cautious, yeah? And the last one that I have here is called Nana, which says, Oh Nana, start your day with this pudding scented treat that you'll be ready to let the good times roll. Um, yeah, so same thing you know mixed reviews about this one um, about the consistency actually so let's start with this one since I'm already talking about it um 
banana. So I would assume that's kind of like a banana scented pudding, I assume. That doesn't really say anything anywhere. Oh yeah, it does in the ingredients. So he's got banana in the ingredients. And uh, let's have a little smell. There is a micro hair there. <laughs> Felt it just on my nose. All right. So the texture inside looks like um, slime, like gak slime. Mm, and I want to say that this smell, it do, I can smell the banana in it. But I reckon it's more like, um, it's definitely like banana pudding, but like banana pudding with a caramel sauce, if you get what I'm saying. Like, I think it's lovely. I think my five-year-old is going to like this one. I will try it myself as well, but yeah, I like that. A little bit sweet. Yeah. Banana and caramel pudding, I would say. I'm definitely excited to try that. These are 100 um, gram jars, by the way. I can't recall what I paid for it, but it'll be up on the screen somewhere. And the next one is Snow Fairy. So, uh, let's have a smell. Oh, this one's very, very sweet. Oh, it's nice. It could get sickly sweet, though. Mm, okay, so, oh my gosh. I have, like, carnival vibes. This is kind of like, um, like fairy floss whipped with, um, musk sticks. If you don't know what musk sticks are, um, it's a candy that we've had in Australia. I don't know if anyone has it anywhere else, but... Yeah, it kind of smells like fairy floss and musk sticks smashed together. That is delicious and I'm going to try it and I think I'm going to like it, but I really do think my kids are going to love this one. That is really, really nice. Very sweet though, so if you don't like sweet things, you're not going to like this. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to Happy Hippie. Alright, this is the one that I told you has got mixed reviews. Actually, a couple of them have got mixed reviews, but this one's definitely got mixed reviews. So, I know what the reviews are. I'll tell you in a minute if I agree. You know what? You're gonna think I'm sick. Do you know what this smells like? Ajax spray and wipe. It's definitely citrus. It's definitely citrus. It's like it's like this punch of lemon. Lemon disinfectant. And you know what? That's the reason why it sounds sick is because it's supposed to be like to clean your benches and stuff like that. But I love, love Ajax spray and wipe lemon scent. That I uh, mmm. I can understand why people wouldn't want to use this one though. Like it, do, it, it does smell like disinfectant, lemon disinfectant. But I love it so much. It smells so clean. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I understand. But someone who likes that smell, I love this. I love it. I don't think my kids are going to, but I love it. Yes, yes, yes. I am very, very happy so far. And the last but not least, is Yognog, the one that I've been waiting all this time for. Um, so it all rides on this. <laughs> all right, so let's give this a go. All right, so what's it supposed to be again? Um, it's supposed to be a little bit uh, sweet, a little bit spicy, a little bit naughty. Let's see. This one's got layers, guys. Oh yeah. This, like, the first layer that I'm smelling, it's like caramel milkshake. Next one's like alcohol, but not bad alcohol, like, mm, alcoholic caramel milkshake. Oh my god, so decadent. I get what they're saying about the spicy, I would say mildly spicy. Yeah, this is great. This is... It smells Christmassy. Like, I don't know what Yognog, I think that's just the name. I, I'm, I'm guessing it's a play on eggnog. Um, I don't buy eggnog. I think it's more of an American thing than an Australian thing. I know we can buy it here, but I don't know what it is. But yeah, this, this smells like milk and caramel and alcohol together. It smells very, very delicious. 
Oh my gosh, it's delicious. It is, yes, it was definitely worth it. I absolutely love the scent of this. This is amazing. It just means that now I'm going to have to buy another bottle before, <laughs> before the end of the month or before they sell out, actually the limited edition. So before they sell out, well, I'm glad. I'm glad I brought the little bottles because to be honest with you, if I ended up with a big massive bottle, I would have been so disappointed if I didn't like the scent. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I love every single one of these scents that I've picked up so far. And I love the bath bomb too, even though I think that there could have been just a little bit more fizz, but it could have been that particular bath bomb as well. So I, I'm i very, very pleased with my order. I'm very surprised and very pleased. And now I want to try all the things. I wish I had, I was going to pick up one of those bath jellies, one of these guys right here. They look like a lot of fun, but they've had some mixed reviews too. But every single one of these things, except um, except Snow Fairy actually, has had um, mixed reviews. And I loved every single thing that I smelled today. So maybe I should make another order. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think I should do, guys? Should I make another order, get a large um, yog nog, and try some other products to talk to you about, or should I just wait until like next year and then make a bulk order? Because I can, I can make an order next year and then pick up some stuff to put in the stockings as well. So many options. Anyway, guys, I will talk about what I feel about these in a later video, probably an empties video. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. I reckon um, once I use it, I might let the whole family use it so we can have more of an idea um, of a group of people on what they think about these products. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. That will probably be quite a few months down the track though. Um, look, they are itty bitty baby bottles, but when I'm sharing them with the children, I don't think they're going to last that long anyway. So I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and um, I'm excited. I'm excited for Christmas. I'm excited for the end of the year. I'm excited for the beginning of a new year and I hope you are too. And I look forward to seeing you in any future videos. Thank you so much guys for watching. Bye.